guys, welcome back to BMW Fanatic. In this video, I'm going to show you the in-depth detail review of Pro Tool by Bimmer Geeks. Now, Pro Tool is an Android-based BMW diagnostic and coding app on your phone or tablet device that is a definite game changer. You can use your KDKN cable with it, with an OTG, or you can also buy their Bluetooth adapter, which is extremely fast, no delay, no nothing. And you know that works great as well. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you those methods and showing you all the details behind it, all the different options. We're gonna code a few things. I'm gonna show you all that right here in this video. So let's go ahead, jump right into the 335i. I'm gonna show you all that right now. All right, when you're ready to get the Pro Tool app, now you need to use an Android-based device. So I'm just using my Digiland Android tablet. I use this for the backend flash to run MHD on that. But uh, once you download it, okay. Obviously you're gonna go into it, so it's out on the Google Play Store. Let it load up here. All right, see how it's disconnected? You're gonna need a OTG cable and a KDCAN cable to be able to connect it to your car. But it's not gonna do anything until you connect it to the vehicle. So it says, please connect to your vehicle. Uh, this will go over some different info that it has, of course, uh, for Pro Tool. And then the different systems that you can do. Now, there is a USB connection, meaning your OTG, or you can do the Bluetooth. And I will show you both of those in this video. So I have the Bluetooth one and, of course, the USB. So I'll use USB. If you have a J before, make sure to go to map zero. So volume down button and the arrow down button at the same time, and then go into map zero. Next, you're gonna need a KDCAN cable. So here I'm using uh, one of my Bimmer Geeks cables. You're gonna take the OBD2 port off, just right there, move the cover. Go ahead and plug in your KDCAN cable. Light will come on and the light will come right off. That means it's good. You're gonna also need to have an OTG cable. So this is basically the USB, which will fit an OTG, and meaning you can plug it into your tablet here, or your phone. So, there you go. You're gonna next need to power on the car. Don't turn it fully on. All right, now we can connect to the vehicle. Hit the connection, it'll say establishing connection to vehicle. Okay, connection established. So I showed you how to connect with the OTG and the KDCAN cable right here. Now we're gonna disconnect everything and I'll show you how to connect it with the Bluetooth. So, pretty simple. Just go ahead and disconnect. Move that aside. Unplug the cable. Here's the Bluetooth adapter. Just plugs in just like that. You're just gonna take it. Plug it in, you're gonna see it light up. Next, you're gonna wanna go into the app. Click this icon up here. Connect type, USB, Bluetooth. Click vehicle, establish the connection. See it blinking over there? I'm trying to establish the connection here. And connection established. That's how easy it is with the Bluetooth. Now if you want to go in and read vehicle error codes, you're gonna need a diagnostic license required and a coding license if you want to do coding. So here's the details, 74.99, of course, get you gain control of every control unit of your car. Of course, should turn your device into one of the most powerful scan tools available for BMW. Uh, read and clear error codes, calibrate system sensors, view real-time data, program fuel injectors, change ECU VIN numbers, reset control units, adjust idle speed, and perform other tests and much more. <laughs> coding. Read and manipulate coding data for nearly every control unit in your vehicle with a thousand plus codable features. 
enable comfort features, suppress errors, customize lighting options, disable DSC nannies, and much more. So you need to buy either both of these if you want, or if you just need diagnostic, or you just want coding, whichever be the case. So we are gonna do diagnostic. There we go, so one over to owned, and we're gonna do coding. So once you get into vehicle, you can see hardware, read vehicle errors, vehicle order, software, clear vehicle errors, and vehicle info. So we wanna read. That's where you're checking your codes at. Now, here's the cool thing about this app. Instead of just giving you a generic code, right, this gives you the breakdown of your codes as it is for IMPA, which is great because you can narrow down which system, which different section you may have an error in. So that's pretty sweet. Then all you do, go ahead and clear. Executing, all codes are clear. Vehicle info, it's gonna show your full VIN up here at the top, I'm moving here. But this shows you all the different systems that you have on your car, right? MST80, all the different functionalities as far as within the DME. All right, moving into engine, functions. Here, clear adaption, injector coating, battery swap, idle adjustment, VPT calibration, and reset DME. You have some live data that you can do there when the car's running. Transmission, let's see, you have transmission faults, functions, live data. Shows you your temperature. Not really much for transmission coding. Transfer case, fuel pump, read your errors, a few different things. But these two are not found. Let's go to chassis. You can go within each of your sections, right? So like, hey, I have a TPMS right issue. So code's gonna be coming soon on that. But this is where you're gonna be able to code that out. Active steering, don't have active steering. And a few other different ones. Going back out. Go back to chassis, chassis two, your different options. Obviously I don't have parking sensors, so it all depends what your car is equipped with and what you have. Safety, this is where we get in the sweet stuff as far as the coding goes. You have your CAS, it's here where we go into the coding part. Here are all the different CAS coding that you can do. Unlock doors, ignition off. So whatever one you wanna look at, you just click this drop down, and I see I have this one off, so I will unlock all doors uh, when I do that. You can go to not active. So this gives you the description as far as everything that you have. Keep on scrolling through. Lots of CAS coding. Now we'll go to footwell module. Normal stuff, right? If you have footwell module codes, you'll see in the FRM in the section there. This just breaks it down into individual sections once you can see into that. 
can see your live data. And here's where you're gonna see all the coding stuff. Forty mirrors, angel eyes setting, angel eyes as a daytime running lights. Obviously I have a lot of this stuff. I have a lot of options already coded onto my car. That's it for a footwell module. See, this is where a footwell module, if you want to change your VIN, reset, uh, obviously careful on that. So just going back through the options, I do have a lot of stuff coded on my car. Uh, but as I went through here, we're gonna do uh, a new coding option that I do not have and we're gonna, we're gonna test it out because I'm gonna show you just how easy it is to code the car. So we're gonna do fogs, flash, to pass, meaning if your headlights are on and your fog lights are on at the same time. So if you hit your stock to flash somebody, right, it will just do the inside kind of where the DRLs used to be. So we're gonna do fogs flash to pass. So you just click on that. So we'll do that one. Mark it as active. Front fog lights flash to pass. And all I have to do is finalize coding. That's done. So we're ready to CAS, football module, alarm. Alarm's coming soon. Comfort access. Power module. And uh, that's not it yet. Alright, interior. Instrument cluster. all the different instrument cluster coatings that you can do. Plenty there. Let's go back, back again, junction box. Coding, wiper complete, central locking, power window, rain sensors, park heating, a bunch of different ones. Seat modules, driver, passenger, climate control. Fan speed, compressor, the other things. Back again. Rain light sensor. Check coding here. All the different ones. Sunroof. No functionality for sunroof for me. All right, going into radio, coding. Here's all the iDrive coding. There's your disclaimer, so you don't have to always do that. Video in motion, can't do that with CCC navigation. Auto trunk lid, seat memory, M drive, just a bunch of different ones depending on what's on your car. That's it for that one. There you go. Back to the main menu. You can close out of all those applications. 
You can either put your car back into the map that you will need to do. If you have the JB4, so the volume down, channel down button, do that. And then go ahead and turn off your ignition. Pop your key out. Go ahead and remove your Bluetooth. And just go ahead and put your cover back on. All right guys, that does it for today. The detailed review of the Pro Tool app by Bimmer Geeks. It's a great app. It can control a lot of things, uh, you know, for a small fee. And of course it has everything that you need for your diagnostics on your BMW and also any kind of coding abilities that you want to do on there. It's perfect and it's a definite must to have it on the go, to have it on you, wherever you may be driving, car events, whatever. You have a diagnostic tool that will show you everything and you'll be able to get down to the root cause as far as if you have an issue going on with your BMW. All the details are in the description box below as far as what cars they can work on right now. A lot more updates will probably come through as far as once users have it and you know any bugs are reported or anything else like that. But I'm happy to have it. It's been working great and you guys will definitely like it as well. Well, please be sure to give this video a nice thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And we're going to check you on the next video. Take care.